A bad credit score can make it difficult to make major life purchases, and some people may not realize it until they attempt to actually buy a home or a car. That's right. Lenders use your credit score to decide whether you'll get a mortgage, a credit card, or any other type of credit. So joining us now to tell us how we can monitor our financial health is Yahoo Finance reporter Jeannie Ahn. Good to see you. Good to see you. So what factors can impact somebody's credit score? So it's a lot of things like late payments, you know, what, what kind of how much you're spending from your available credit, all, all these things. But, you know, you're working so hard to save up for these major life purchases. A good credit score is so smart, so sexy, because you end up paying so much less. I like in how the you long say it's sexy. I mean, it's, am, I, am I not right? Yeah, it yeah, is. I mean, it sexy is. credit score. <laughs> yeah. And if you have a sexy credit score, let's say in the, you know, in the 760 range, above 760 to 850, you end up paying about $300 less a month on a $300,000 mortgage. And of course, the more, the higher your mortgage is, the more you're saving. So on a million dollar mortgage with good credit, you save about $1,000 a month than if you had just average credit. Okay, hmm. so that's, you know, taking out a pretty major loan because we're talking about a that mortgage. Is. What about something a little smaller like a car? So the average U.S. national rate for a car loan is about 4.2%, right? If you have about a $30,000 mortgage, I mean, not a mortgage, an mm -hmm. auto loan, you end up saving a total interest with good credit about four times more. Okay. If okay. you have good credit. Hmm. So you pay four times more if you have bad credit right. on a $30,000 car. So that wow. might be the difference between getting the car that you actually want versus the, one, the car that you yeah, can afford. The, uh, La Sabra. <laughs> the Buick La Sabra that I had in college. <laughs> um, so can, can a bad credit score, though, um, impact whether you get a job? Well, a bad credit score can make you look riskier to borrowers, but it can also make you look riskier to people who want to hire you, you know? So it's really, really worth it for major life purchases and major life job decisions for you to just really work on raising that credit score, knowing that one late payment can drop your credit score by 100 points. Mm. So if you are in the 30 to 60 day range and you see on your credit report that you did miss one payment, you can call the creditor and ask them to work with you. 90% of the time, they will give you a one-time courtesy and take that off. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't take that off, it's on your credit report for seven years. Another thing that's on your credit report, which is even worse, is debt collection. If you're in the 180-day delinquent period, then that's when your debt starts going into the collection territory. The silver lining here is that before it goes to the credit bureaus, you still have 30 days to settle that debt. Hmm. That is if it's a valid debt, if you actually do owe it and you're not disputing it. So again, calling the debt collectors and saying, I know you're going to sell this debt for pennies on the dollar. I will work with you. Let's figure this out. And can you also remove it after we figure it mm. out? And that can really, really help. I think you're making some two really good points. Because I think a lot of people see like their credit score as something sort of magical and mystical. And they don't have any control over it. And it just the number just pops up and it disappears. <laughs> right. But actually, you have a tremendous amount of control. And often, you know, when you see your bank calling, your credit card company calling, people don't want to pick up the phone yeah. right. because it's a sort of embarrassing conversation to have. But keeping an open dialogue is what saves that credit score. Exactly. And the old news is to, you know, check your credit report once a year. That is like ancient news. You have to <laughs> check it once a month. You can do it for free. Yeah, it's totally free. You mm -hmm. check it once a month. And it doesn't, month. a question about that, because I'd always heard that if you check your credit report too often, that is a flag. Is that a flag? And does it drop your score? You're, or no? ta you're talking about if somebody is checking on your credit, that could be a soft inquiry. What does that mean? So that means that people are like checking... Like if I'm, I'm trying to buy a house or I'm yeah, trying to rent exactly. a house or something? Yeah, exactly. That's a soft inquiry. And that could bump your credit score down by about five points at a time. Why? Because it looks like a lot of people are checking on your credit. Huh. But if lenders, we check our credit score? If we not if our... you check your own credit okay. score. If other people are checking your credit score, they it shows up on your report. And that could bump it down about five points, but that's not a big deal. That'll go right back up. Okay. So it's worth it for you. It has no effect other than your check checking on identity theft, you're checking on what's going on every day with my credit, and it really is the only way for you to monitor your financial wellness. All right. Jeannie on good information as usual. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Jeannie.